Yesterday, the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that their forces shot down 92 Ukrainian drones amidst reports of increasing military strikes on Russian bases and weapons depots. These drone attacks are seen as part of Ukraine's broader strategy to degrade Russia's offensive capabilities, particularly targeting weapons depots and drone bases. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, their air defenses shot down 92 Ukrainian drones overnight, marking one of the highest recorded numbers of UAVs destroyed in a short period since the start of the conflict. However, this figure does not fully capture the situation on the ground, as Ukraine continues to launch precision attacks on key Russian military targets, especially weapons depots and drone bases. Russia's report of a high number of UAVs shot down reflects the increased intensity of Ukrainian drone attacks. For months, Ukraine has used drones as an effective tool to strike targets deep within Russian territory. These attacks not only inflict significant material damage, but also weaken Russian morale and response capability. One of Ukraine's notable recent achievements in these attacks was the destruction of a large Russian weapons depot in the Bryansk region. According to Ukraine's general staff, this depot contained a variety of important weapons, including missiles and artillery, reportedly sourced from North Korea. The attack on this ammunition depot triggered a massive explosion, substantially diminishing Russia's weapon supplies. Notably, the depot also contained aerial guided bombs, an essential part of Russia's strategic arsenal. The attack in Bryansk not only caused considerable material loss, but also dealt a blow to Russia's military cooperation with North Korea. Recently, North Korea has provided military aid to Russia, including artillery shells and other equipment, to support Russia in its ongoing conflict with Ukraine. However, Ukraine's destruction of this weapons depot has significantly impacted North Korea's military support for Russia. In addition to the weapons depot in Bryansk, Ukraine has also continued to target other key Russian military bases. Another significant attack occurred when Ukraine struck a military base in Russia's Krasnodar Krai, where Iran-supplied Shahed drones were stored. This base served as Russia's storage and deployment hub for the Shahed drones, which Russia has extensively used to attack targets in Ukraine. Approximately 400 Shahed drones were stored at this base before the attack. Ukraine's strike on the base dealt Russia a major blow, destroying a large portion of the critical UAVs that Russia uses in its daily assaults. These drones have become one of Russia's primary weapons since Tehran began supplying Moscow with thousands of them since the beginning of the conflict. In September alone, Russia launched more than 1,300 Shahed drones at Ukrainian targets, underscoring the importance of this weapon in Russia's offensive strategy. Ukraine's attack on the Shahid storage base not only disrupted Russia's offensive strategy, but also demonstrated Ukraine's ability to target deep within Russian territory. Ukraine's recent strikes, especially on Russian weapons depots and military bases, carry significant strategic importance. Russia faces increasing challenges in maintaining the necessary weapons and equipment supplies to continue the conflict. The destruction of these weapons depots and military bases has severely weakened Russia's defensive capabilities and reduced its capacity to launch large-scale attacks on Ukraine. While Russia continues to report large numbers of Ukrainian drones shot down, Ukraine's ability to successfully launch strikes on crucial targets deep within Russian territory shows that it is increasingly expanding its offensive capabilities and weakening the enemy's logistics. This creates considerable pressure on Moscow, forcing Russia to bolster its defenses amid ongoing complex combat situations. The drone war between Russia and Ukraine also reflects the modernization of warfare, where unmanned vehicles are becoming a critical part of both sides' strategies. Russia's reliance on Iranian-made Shahed drones and Ukraine's continued expansion of its drone strike capabilities highlight how this conflict is growing increasingly complex and unpredictable. The consecutive attacks on Russian targets not only weaken Russia's combat capabilities, but also send a clear message that Ukraine is ready and capable of mounting strong counterattacks, even as Russia maintains pressure through daily attacks on Ukraine.